Hello everyone, this is Draco coming at you with another, well, full self-driving. Ah, uh, is that really... Come on, at least they can fix this issue. Okay, anyway, <laughs> Rocket coming at you with uh, my first 11 that 3.4 drive. Um, obviously, this problem is still here. Version, this only has ever happened with version 11. No other previous update has ever done this. So we're having to wait for it to en let me enable it, and it's a person behind me. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so I'm hoping this is actually wide release. Actually, actually wide release. Uh, living that to uh, 3 to 4. Uh, so I'm hoping all of you that do not have it, hope you are soon to get this this weekend. It is Friday uh, during my uh, lunch period. You know, it's great timing. I was able to go out and we're going to do our test of Saluda. Uh, this gives us just a good idea, just a baseline like last time. With a, I did this 11.3.1, uh, best it ever did this drive, like first time zero disengagements. So we we are gonna see if that's gonna be repeatable with 11.3.4. Uh, it could have been luck of the draw last time, or it could have been the improvements. We'll see. Uh, we're looking for like a decreased phantom braking uh, over like 11.3.3 or 11.3.2, or just uh, no obvious issues that are gonna show up. Like this car right here, you can tell. Yeah, see, it's two two little pulse brakes. Um, it could see that car way back in the parking lot and pulsed as it got closer to it pulsed again because that guy wasn't braking quite quick enough. Uh, and then we have a police car right here. Looking for uh, people that are gonna speed. Which is why um, you should always, in this area, pay attention. Because they, they like to hide uh, around the corners and then it's too late by the time you get there. Normally you have to be going over five over before they would even touch you. But, you know, better be safe. Interesting. So it stayed further right for those cars. Now we have this car. That's kind of like a not okay move by my car. A car should have slowed down sooner. So that's somewhat of an edge case. This guy I like, pulled out in front of me. Hopefully he's not turning here. Okay. What's my car doing? Okay, that's new behavior. Oh no, they regressed. They regressed. Oh, it said stopping for the stop sign. That doesn't exist right here. I'll go ahead and just do that. Maybe that'll get that whole sequence of events right there. Ah. I thought that was fixed. That last ver um, um, eleven dot three dot one was the first version not to do that, and now of course this version does it again. Like, so it, maybe it was just lucky the last time, but um, that's disappointing. Um, it, it again shouldn't stop for a stop sign that's not there, and then we have other people that have stop signs where it doesn't stop for the stop sign that is there. So that's still, um, at least, I mean, it, it's worse to, okay, um, I don't know why the car, the car's still trying to stop. I think it's because of this bad map data right here. It, it doesn't think it can continue. I think, unfortunately, they've made this version, like, ultra conservative to go wide release, and they always make it worse. Like, this, like, look at, like, you saw, you can see the stop line on the screen. Yeah, um, I don't know if it's because we're getting more, a few more cars on this road than we did the last time. Maybe it's because there isn't a car following us. Um, we'll see if this, uh, corner up ahead, um, uh, does any better. Obviously, we haven't gotten any disengagements yet. I was almost ready to disengage for that truck pulling out in front of me. But, um, yeah, so last time this was super smooth. Oh, wow, it almost went into the cur curb. Ah. Huh. Okay, yeah. Um. So far, everyone not particularly happy with this version. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm reserving full judgment till tomorrow. At least this is correct still. 
stops and is turning in the correct spot and it's very evident that it's turning in the correct spot. So that's not an issue. Uh, so that's great, it did that fine. Um, so let's go ahead and end that and we actually have to navigate all the way back across the highway. Car is stopping because this is the last point. Now it's continuing. Let's see if it's gonna navigate to the left up here and it should. Okay, I'm. That's not going to count as a disengagement. It's only because the route takes so long to. There we go. It takes so long to reroute. the The computer's just so slow now. I, ha I want to keep the consistent route, and this is also the the route it should go. There's no reason it needs to take a right to go way detoured all the way around. Like that's really way out of your way. When all it needs to do is take a left right here. Um, it might do a right just because it hadn't had the route planned yet. We're gonna see how it does here. So it, it seems like they've reversed a lot of stuff. So um, the last time I did this, it was um, okay. So it made that. I still don't like how it does that, but it made it fine. It's just yeah, this version, this this drive isn't like we're gonna be at zero disengagements most likely since we've made it to this point the historic why are we oh. oh okay um it stops for those people okay well that's a that's a bonus um um i normally as a human i one i didn't see that i did, actually wasn't paying attention to the people i was paying attention to the cyclist that was coming down from the right um and i wouldn't have stopped and they wouldn't have expected me to stop but since my car started rapidly slowing down, I, I looked at the screen. It, it was stopping for the people trying to cross the road. That's new. I've never seen that before, actually. Interesting. So that that was appropriate, in my opinion. Um, cyclist out there, I'm not a cyclist. You tell me if you thought that was appropriate with that cyclist right there. I think it was fine. Uh, my car, even though it was a car passing on my left, my car stayed as far left in the lane as it could get and went even further left once that car passed um, to give room to the cyclist, which I think was, because of how slow we were going, was an appropriate amount of room. Uh, I don't think that was bad. So, so far, the beginning half of the drive was kind of, yeah, not great. The second half of this drive shows a few things I've never seen before. So that's good. Uh, it, I'm trying to trying to always find positive improvements on every version. I don't expect the point releases to really do much, but um, uh, the reality is, as long as we make it past this turn down the highway, we're probably making zero disengagements. Uh, again, like, that that's no other version besides 11.3.1 made zero disengagements. Maybe it's 11.3.2. It's one of the two drives, I don't remember anymore. <laughs> everyone uh what are the two but um yeah so we're doing pretty good and now we'll see this cop going around here which is why we want to go to speed limit right here right there hiding right, right behind that bush people fly down this hill all the time the speed limit is 45 on this road um but yeah and Okay, that was semi oh, acceptable. It breaks for that car coming from the right. But yeah, um, well, okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna call it until we're past the bridge and we're past this um, little intersection up here. I'll see what it gives us. As long as it can get past this, we're gonna call it. Okay, that was uh, zero disengagements, everyone. Um, yeah, road closed. I didn't even see that sign four. Three. Okay, well at least we're not going back. Um. I think it's going to be further down the road that it's closed, so hopefully that's not going to interfere with me. Uh, anyways, yeah, everyone, I, I mean, the first half of the drive wasn't good, but we're going to reserve total judgment for tomorrow's drives. Uh, let me know what you think down below, and I will see you in the next video. Appreciate everyone watching, and I hope you get this soon. Bye.